Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Terra Enigma. So, last we left off, we were making our way through Greeklyph. We got these little claws, these little neat lifty, lifty, neat lift, that about said again, neat nifty climbing claws. And sadly, the one thing you can't do when you're using the claws is defend yourself in any way. You can't even, you know, I don't think you can dive off of the wall. So you're kind of sitting duck for any, any enemies like this. I am having trouble talking today. Okay, always. Can't jump. You can fall down, that's about it. But you can't do anything but go up, left, and right when you're on there. But yeah, if you want to, you can press down, but hitting B automatically detaches from the wall. In case you find yourself surrounded. And just so we don't have to go through all that one area again, we will take the shortcut back to here. And now we will head back this way. I don't really want to skip enemies. Ah. Not if I don't have to. Come on. Pop up again. Thank you. And now... That was not good timing on my part. There we go. Take the very long, slow climb... up to this cave. However... We've been here before. We just couldn't do anything about these little areas here. But waiting for us here is one of those enemies. Also, a replacement medium bowl. Sadly, you can't just jump down off of them. be able to do anything to us as long as we are right there, above him. And now, we were on that section of it, over in that direction earlier, but now we are here, dealing with Quakers. Come on, get where I can hit you. Thank you. could have just gone swimming to cut across her a little faster, but you do that, it leaves you a little more open to the dive-bombing birds. Luckily, I killed that bird before the Quaker came down and tried to ruin my day. Now, we want to go eventually down and to the right there. However, before we do that... Yeah. Do not let these guys get a good feed on you. Or else they will just steamroll you a little bit. Some free money there. 
and I think the next to last piece of Medja Rock we will find in here. Now, with both of those, there was nothing up here yet. There was nothing. Can just kind of take a careful path around. We have nowhere to go in here, and this is the place I wanted to hold right. drops us off like right here, right on top of a piece of magic rock. And now we're going to drop down like that. Bam our attack so they can't break through. We don't take any extra damage we don't need to. You know I missed something somewhere. No, I did not. I haven't missed it yet. I was about to miss it. Maybe you noticed there was a door we couldn't quite reach earlier on. But that door was not available to us until we got to here. Because we had no way up to it. And it has a life potion. Maybe you saw that po treasure sitting there when we were passing through earlier. Maybe. But once again, no reason to not just automatically use it. And we could fall down there if we wanted to, but that would make us pretty much redo the whole dungeon. I'm not really interested in doing that despite the extra experience, would probably be a very good thing to get. It would make me burn through even more of my healing supplies, and I'm not really interested in that. That went poorly. So there is a vine over on the right side which takes you up a little bit, but it's pretty much useless and you gotta take this path, because that vine only leads you to like a very small platform. And yes, my health is looking pretty bad. which. Not a great thing because we are headed right towards the uh, right towards the boss of this dungeon. So let's heal up before we actually fight it. Even though, really, this boss is not overwhelmingly dangerous. It just isn't. It has two main attacks. The first is this. It sits there and spits out those little projectiles at you. The second one is this, where it turns into a tornado and tries to send you off the edge. And by s and once you hit it a couple of times, it summons help. Summons that brown one up there, which doesn't do a whole lot does that. It literally craps on you. And can do that. See, this is not an overly 
dangerous as far as hit point destroying boss goes. But it is annoying because if it times those attacks just right, it does that. So sometimes you can get away with smacking it as it does that. But your best hope for an actual attack is this. At which point you'll probably take some damage. But overall, the boss is not too difficult. Does not have a ton of hit points behind it. As you just saw there, I only hit it about four times. But the brown bird will come to literally take a crap on you. And now it is cutscene time. Yep, not quite ready for that yet. It's a nice picture of an egg. Not so nice when it starts cracking. But we have eagles again, among other birds. And here we are back at Sanctuar. Well, defeating yet another dungeon. Unfortunately, we can't dive in the water here. But we can jump across these platforms. But, completely defeating another dungeon and getting, I believe, everything out of it. I do believe this makes a pretty good stopping spot. I kind of expected it to take longer. I expected that boss fight to take a good deal longer because it can sit there and just go back and forth and launch needles at you for a good 3-4 minutes at a time where you can't reach it and hit it. It's done that to me before. That bird's a jerk. But it wouldn't be a boss if it wasn't. So anyway, when we come back... We will talk to the birds here and find out where our next destination lies. Also, we'll go see if we can afford any healing spells, because I feel those would be useful. Also, replenish our stocks of all the bulbs I used. Whatever I wasn't able to replenish from the chests, anyway. So, take care everyone. I will see you back next time for more. Later.